Hi and welcome to another episode of You Are A TV. My name is Leticia Morton and I'm Tamika Holmes. This week we go into town to do some shopping and see what our senior ladies got up to in Tennant Creek. <laughs> For a while now, some of us have taken part in learning new skills on how to cook safely. Let's take a look. My name is Scott Berry from the Department of Education and I'm a hospitality trainer. And then we need to work out how much of everything we need to pack the shops for five, six of us. I help run a Cert 1 hospitality course throughout the Northern Territory for school-based students. What some of the main objectives of the course with the students here is to teach them some basics about hygiene, uh, work health safety, and customer service so that they can take it out into any industry. Um, the way I deliver the course is I take them all the way back to the basics with using different types of equipment. The exact same thing, some will be bigger, some will be smaller. So 180 is your standard temperature. So part of the skills that we teach the kids in the classroom are making sure they understand the way to correctly use a knife. We also teach them how to use all the different pieces of equipment which there are in a kitchen. Yeah, that looks good, Ty. Make sure they have a good understanding of it. A large part of um, each daily routine is to make sure that we uh, go through the recipe that we're going to do for the day and they understand the recipe, so we read through the ingredients and the method. Uh, we will then create a shopping list and we'll do the shopping list on the board together, making sure that we get some of the basic maths done at the same time. We're doing a, what's this, a course training for hospitality. So we are doing and then chef. On the chocolate wall is where the rest we'll be making the, uh, burgers. And, and stuff. Yeah. We're gonna have chat. That's what it looks. We really enjoyed it. Get out of class. The bottom of the pad was uh, flat with the doing some cooking is actually good. Uh, it's actually um, helped us in the future to yeah, know yeah. how to cook. Which I'm for our families. That we'll like that and then we would generally go down to Woolworths and do a shop where I can identify with the uh, students the different quality in the fresh produce or the different types of meats that we need for the recipe. You know what blemish is? Not, not, not Look at the bottom, you can tell the age of the onion by the bottoms of them. Yeah, see how it's nice fresh? and fresh looking? Whereas when they start to get old, they start to turn a little bit darker colored, yeah. That's right, eh? Perfect. Have a look at the different items in there and talk about the different pricing, the different brands and what they mean to them. Then we come back to the kitchen and cook the recipes. So once we've gotten back from doing our shopping, uh, we then make sure that we have our meals and plus set up on our benches, which is all of their equipment and their ingredients. Uh, and from there we do the preparation, generally I'll do a demo with the kids and then I'll go over to the bench and they'll start working on their benches and then we cook the recipe that we've uh, done for the day and then we have to also do a clean up which is a major factor of the course when they're working on the stove tops making sure that they're uh, being really careful with the direction of their pots handles um, calling out when they're walking behind people, making sure they're using tea towels when they're picking up hot stuff out of the oven or oven mitts when they're grabbing it out of the oven as well. How long will it take you to finish the barbecue? Cooking this? Yes. Yeah. The taste on these ones pretty thick. Yours are pretty thin, so hopefully only five minutes. One of my favourite things coming to Urara College is working with the students and seeing them get excited about creating a meal that's more than just something that comes out of a package. Yeah, yeah, 
I look forward to seeing the students in my class, building their skills and us being able to potentially put on something like an event that might hold quite a few people in it. Yara! Did you know Sierra Rioli Jr. X-Hawks player visited our school last week? That's another reason why you need to follow our Facebook page as so much happens here, it can't all fit into our bulletin. A few weeks ago, our Girls Academy took us on our annual senior leadership camp. The theme of the camp was No Limit for Girls and focused on three main subjects which were strength, stress and love. We took part in different activities including team building exercises, games and group work. A disco and a footy match against Henry Creek High School. We also judged the corn fritter master chef cook off at the Tennant Creek Youth Center. At the camp we were taught social and emotional learning and we learnt about our reactions and behaviours such as fight, flight and freeze. Part of the Girls Academy program included three ads being made talking about things that matter for us all. Let's have a look at this week. We all feel sometimes like we can't deal with what's going on. People talking bad behind your back, writing rubbish on AG. Sometimes you might get angry, or start using drugs and drinking to cope with your feelings, but it just makes it worse. When you're feeling troubles, don't bottle it up inside you. There's always someone you can talk to. Reach out to family or friends, someone you can trust. That's all from us for this week. Next week we have a look at what Kafu workshopping look like. Bye and remember it's really simple. Seatbelt saves lives. <laughs>